Hello guys, so in this video we will learn about topology and topology is used to create a set of rules to make sure that your drawings and your features on the map validated against these rules. So for example when we draw the counties we want to make sure that each county have the same border with the other county and no county features overlap on the other one. Or for example on the streets and the freeways we want to make sure that there's no line intersect or overlap with the other line without meeting at the intersection. So there is a lot of different ways to do rules for the topology and we will have a lot of options to choose from the rules we will create when we create the topology. So let me show you how you can create a topology and how can you use it on ArcGIS Pro. To create a topology you need to go to your geodatabase and we will open our California feature dataset that have the freeways, the counties and the cities. And right here we will right click and say I want to create a new topology. And you can only create a topology inside a feature dataset. So you cannot create it outside of a geodatabase. So we cannot create a topology right here. You will not find the topology option. And inside a geodatabase you cannot also create a topology. You can only create a topology inside a feature dataset with other feature classes. So we will go back to California dataset and we will right click here and say I want to create a new topology. And that will open uh, the wizard window for you to define your uh, rules for this topology and what layers you want to use. So we want to use the cities, the freeways, counties and orange county cities, the polygon layer. This is the layers we will apply the rules on. And then we will click next so we can define the rules we want to add. So the first rule we will click add here and say I want a rule for my freeways. And that rule will be... As you see here we have a lot of options so we will just uh, choose the simple one saying must not intersect. So the lines of the freeway must not intersect with each other. And also I can add another one for the freeways as well and say here must not overlap. So what is the difference between intersect and overlap? Intersect they will intersect against each other. Overlap they will overlap on top of each other. So that's another thing to make sure of that we don't have two lines that overlap on each other. And you have so many other options and so many other rules. So that's it for the freeways. We will add another rule for the cities, the points. This is the cities points. We want to make sure that each point actually inside the polygon of the same city. So as you know, on our map, we have the Orange County cities as a polygon, but also we have the cities represented as points. And we want to make sure that this points actually inside the polygon, not outside of it and not on the boundary. So this rule that we want to apply here is must be probably inside. And as you see uh, here, it said that it will be a point, which is the one we chose here. And we have to choose another feature class of type area. And we will choose the other one here from Orange County cities. So what this rule will do, it will make sure that each city point is probably inside Orange County cities polygon. So that's another rule. Now let's add another one for the Orange County cities. And we want to make sure that this Orange County cities polygon does not overlap and there's no gaps between them. Which means we want to make sure that all the boundaries of each city have the same boundary as the city next to it. So we will choose here must have no gaps. And we will add another one for the same layer. And we will choose that must not overlap. And we will click next. And that's it for our creation for the topology. As you see, you can choose any rules you want and you can apply these rules on any feature classes you have. So here we will click finish to create our topology. It will just take a few seconds and you will see that we will have a new topology dataset right here. And as you see here, we have the California dataset topology. So now let's go back to our map and add this topology. So we right click here, add and we will add the topology right here. So now we have our topology showing in the content window, but we cannot see anything on the map and we cannot see if we have any errors or not. So in order to see if we have any errors, we need to go to the edit tab, make sure we choose the topology here to be the topology we have right here. So we will choose California dataset underscore topology, and this is the one we just created and added to the map right here. So when we choose this one, when I click error inspector, the error inspector window will open and when I click validate, it will validate the layers I have on the map based on the topology I have right here. So after it finished, it will show me if I have any errors 
that match my rules so as you see here we have three errors right now we have uh, orange county cities must not have gaps and here is a description for how this gaps will look like so as you see here we have this image right here it shows you the red areas will be the one that have an error so if we zoom in a little bit here you see that we have gaps around the edge of the cities but that is actually okay and uh, this is not an error so let's try to make our map looks clean here and hide our base map and as you see here this red lines show you that there is an error here and there is a gap but we know that this is not an error this is just because we didn't finish drawing the entire area around the cities it shows that we have an error right here so what we can do about this one we can right click here and we can say consider this one as an exception and mark it as an exception so it doesn't count as an error right here as we see here so we will mark this one as an exception and we will make a filter here to not show any exceptions so this one will be hidden now let's see the other error we have here we have an error that is related to the freeways and say must not intersect so that means we have two locations where the freeways actually intersect so if I right click here and say zoom to and I zoom to this one and I use select and I select this line and I select this line you will see that the two lines actually intersect with each other and one of the good things about the inspection window right here is that sometimes you have the option to go to the fix tab right here on the right and it will give you the option you need to do to fix this error so when I click on this one what will happen it will apply split for this two lines right here and it will make it one line here one line here and here and here and this fixed my error and the error is gone and now it, that was an easy way to fix it now we have the same error in another location so here I can right click and go zoom to and where is this one I think it's right here yes this one right here and again you can go to select this one and go to the fix and you can click split again and it will fix it for you sometimes there is one option to fix the error so it will show up here and sometimes you cannot see the fix options right here so for the other validations we have remember that we set a rule for the points to not be outside of the polygon so let's say for example I will drag this point from here and I will move it outside of the boundary of the polygon so when I move it right here and I apply my edits now if I click validate again this will give me as an error also let's try to make a gap between the polygons so we can see the other error we have so let's choose this feature and make a rotate and we will rotate it this way so we will have a gap here and gap here and gap here as well and we'll say ok now when I do validation again you will see that this areas right here will give me an error because it doesn't match the rule I have that the point cannot be outside of the polygon and we don't need any gaps between our Orange County cities polygons and now our validation is done and as you see here we have much more errors than we had before because right now we have much more gaps and much more overlap on the polygon layer and we have this point right here and also because we did another validation we see this errors again the one that we marked exception we see it again showing up right here so let's try to make this errors as an exception in a way to clean up our exceptions and then we will fix the other ones so here let's select each error and right click and say flash so this one is the one right here so we will mark this as exception and we will right click again and say flash mark this as exception and then the next one flash this one is an actual error so we need to fix it flash flash we want to make sure that we don't have anything that we need to mark as exception and this one is an exception as well so we will mark it as exception and the last one here is which one is this let's zoom out and make sure it's not an exception right click and say flash this one is right here actually that looks like a valid error for us let's zoom to it it's still no it's actually an exception as well so let's mark this as an exception because we don't have a problem here this is just the end of the polygons 
So let's start working on fixing this error right here. So the first one here is actually for the points and the rule is must be probably inside the polygon of orange counties. So when we right click and zoom to, you will see that we have the point we moved showing as an error right now because it's outside of the boundaries or not inside the polygon. So what we need to do to fix this one is select it and move it inside. So now we can drag it, right click and say move and we will start to move it back inside again to fix this error and we will say OK. Now let's do the validation again and this error is gone. Let's come back here and see this polygon that we did a rotate right now. We have an overlap error here. So let's zoom to each one of them. Let's flash them. So this one is a gap and the next one is another gap. We have a small gap right here and here is another gap. So each one of them show a gap and then here is the overlap errors. Flash, you will see that we have overlaps on top of each other. So topology and validation will allow you to see any errors you have in your map. And the way to fix this one, you can delete it and redraw it. You can uh, do edit vertices. You can rotate it back as we did in the beginning. So here I will choose it and choose rotate. And I will try to rotate it back to war to the location it was before we do the validation. Now let's say OK. And let's see if that will work or we still going to get some errors. And we will do validation again. And we didn't have any errors, so that's a good thing. We put everything back in place and we fixed the error for the freeways because we actually had an error for the freeways. So that's how you can do validation. And it's always good to keep in mind before you create any data or before you start to create any uh, features, you need to keep in mind what is the rules you need to have before you create your features. So before you start drawing and then do the validation, it's always good to keep in mind when you design your feature data set or you design your data and geodatabase, uh, you need to figure out the domains, you need to figure out if you need tracking or not, you need to figure out if you have any rules to do your data entry. And if you have any rules, it's great to create your topology ahead of drawing your features and have it enabled while you are doing your editing and every time you are adding a new feature or after you add few features, you do run the validation and make sure that you don't have any errors. And this way you will be able to eliminate any errors while you are drawing your features. So that's it for the topology. Now we know how you can create a topology for your layers. Make sure that it's inside a feature dataset and how you can use it on ArcGIS Pro and how you can do the validation, fix the errors and make sure that your data following the right rules. And if you have any questions, please let me know and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.